Hello, curious minds. Today, we're diving into the amazing world of animals and learning how they're grouped. Isn't that exciting? We'll discover the different categories animals fall into based on their characteristics. From furry mammals to feathery birds, scaly fish, and even reptiles and amphibians. We'll also learn about their dietary habits. Who eats plants, who prefers meat, and who enjoys both. So buckle up for a fun-filled exploration of our planet's incredible animal kingdom. Get ready to explore the fascinating world of animals with Learn With Moral. First up, we have mammals. Mammals are special because they have hair or fur. Hmm, let's think. Dogs, cats, horses, and even humans. All of these are examples of mammals. Now, here's a fun question for you. What pets do you have at home? A fluffy bunny or a cuddly puppy, perhaps? Guess what? Those furry friends you have at home, they are mammals. Next, we have birds. Feathers make birds unique. Can you name a bird? That's right. Birds come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, from tiny hummingbirds to large eagles. They are a riot of colors, too. Parrots, for instance, are like flying rainbows with their vibrant feathers. But not all birds are colorful. Some, like pigeons and sparrows, have more subdued tones. But they're just as amazing. And let's not forget our feathery friends who love to swim, penguins. They may not fly in the sky, but boy, can they zoom underwater. Now let's get interactive. What's your favorite bird? Is it a friendly robin, a chatty parrot, or perhaps a majestic owl? Birds are truly feathered wonders, aren't they? Now let's swim with the fish. Fish have scales. Who can think of a fish? That's right. There are so many kinds of fish in our world. From the tiny colorful guppies that you might see in a home aquarium to the enormous majestic sharks that roam the ocean depths. Fish come in all shapes and sizes. They're found in nearly every body of water around the globe, from the coldest Arctic waters to the warm tropical seas near the equator. Now, here's a fun challenge for you. Can you think of any fish names? It could be the name of a fish species like clownfish or goldfish, or it could be a pet fish's name like bubbles or finny. There's no right or wrong answer, just let your imagination swim free. From the tiniest guppies to the biggest sharks, fish are amazing creatures. Moving on to reptiles and amphibians. Dry skin with scales for reptiles and wet skin for amphibians. You might be wondering, what's the difference? Well, let's dive in. Reptiles like snakes, turtles, and lizards have dry, scaly skin and they usually lay eggs. On the other hand, amphibians such as frogs, toads, and salamanders start their lives in water and then move to land and they have wet, smooth skin. Now let's play a little game. Can you think of your favorite reptile or amphibian? Maybe it's a colorful chameleon or a hopping frog or even a slow-moving turtle. Whichever it is, it's clear to see whether they're slithering on land or hopping in ponds, reptiles and amphibians are truly unique. Finally, we categorize animals based on their diet. We have herbivores, plants, carnivores, meat, and omnivores, both. Herbivores, like cows, love munching on grass and leaves. Carnivores, such as lions, prefer a meaty meal. And then we have the omnivores. A fox, for instance, will eat just about anything from berries to small animals. Isn't it fascinating how different animals eat different things? Now that you know this, you can impress your friends and family with your animal knowledge. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Let's keep exploring together. And that's how animals are grouped, from furry mammals to feathery birds, from scaly fish to reptiles and amphibians, each with their unique characteristics. And don't forget the dietary groups, herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. That's a wrap, young scientists. Join us next time as we continue our exciting journey of discovery. Stay curious.